King James Bible, the third book of Moses called Leviticus, chapter 26. Ye shall make you no idols, nor graven image, neither rear up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land, to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Ye shall keep my Sabbath, and, rem and reverence my sanctuary, I am the Lord. If ye walk in my statutes, and keep my commandments, and do them, then I will give you rain in due season, and the land shall yield her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. And your threshings shall reach unto the vintage, and your vintage shall te reach unto the sowing time, and ye shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely. And I will give peace in the land, and ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will rid evil beasts out of the land, neither shall the swords go through your land. And ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before your sword. Sorry. Before you buy the sword. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemy shall fall before you by the sword. For I will have respect unto you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and establish my covenant with you. And ye shall eat old store, and bring forth the old because of the new. And I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. And I will walk among you, and will be your God, and ye shall be my people. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should, be, that ye should not be their bondsmen. I have broken the bands of your yoke, and made you go upright. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments, and if ye shall despise my status, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all of my commandments, but ye that break my covenant, but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you, and I will appoint over you terror, consumption, and burning ague, and that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart, and ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemy shall eat it, and I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies, that they hate you. Sh <clears throat> They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. And if ye will not for all, not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for the, for your sins, and I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven as iron, and your earth as brass, and your strength shall be spent in vain, for your land shall not yield her increase, neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruit. And if ye walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. I also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children, and destroy your cattle, and make you few in number, and your highways shall be desolate. And if ye will not be reformed by me by these things, but will walk contrary unto me, then I will also walk contrary unto you, and will punish you yet seven times for your sins. And I will bring a sword upon you, that shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant. And when you are gathered together within your cities, I will send the pestilence among you, and ye shall be delivered unto the hand of the enemy. And when I have broken the staff of your bread, ten women shall bake your bread in one oven, and they shall deliver you your bread again by weight, and ye shall eat and not be satisfied. And if you will not for not for all this hearken unto me, but walk contrary unto me. Then I will walk contrary unto you also in fury, and I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins. And ye shall eat the flesh of your sons, and the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat. And I will destroy your high places, and cut down your images, and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols, and my soul shall abhor you. And I will make your cities waste, and bring your sanctuaries unto desolation, and will not, and I will not smell the savour of your sweet odours. And I will bring the land into desolation, and your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. And I will scatter you among the heathen, and will draw out a sword after you, and your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbaths, as long as it lieth desolate, and ye be in your enemies' lands. Even then shall the land that rest and enjoy her Sabbaths. As long as it lieth desolate, it shall rest, because it did not rest in your Sabbaths, when ye dwelt upon it. 
and upon them that are left alive of you I will send a faintness into their hearts in the lands of their enemies, and, and the sound of a shaken leaf shall chase them, and they shall flee, and fleeing from a sword they shall fall when none per pursueth. And they shall fall up one upon another, as it were before a sword, and none pursueth, and ye shall have no power to stand before your enemies. And ye shall pursue among the heathen, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity in your enemies' lands, and also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I have also walked contrary unto them, and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they can accept of the punishment of their iniquity. Then will I remember my covenant with Jacob, and all my covenant with Isaac, and also my cousin covenant with Abraham. Will I remember, and I will rem remember the land. The land also should be left of them, and shall enjoy her Sabbaths, while she lieth desolate without them. And they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity, because even because they despised my judgments, and because their soul abhorred my statutes. And yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away, neither will I abhor them, to destroy them utterly, and to break my covenant with them, for I am the Lord their God. But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt, in the sight of the heathen, that I might be their God, I am the Lord. These are the statutes and the judgments and laws, which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel, and Mount Sinai, by the hand of Moses. Chapter 27 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When a man shall make a singular vow, the person shall be for the Lord by the estimation. And thy estimation shall be of the male from twenty years old, even unto sixty years old. Even thy estimation shall be fifty shekels of silver, after the shekel of the sanctuary. And if it be a female, then thy estimation shall be thirty shekels. And if it be from five years old, even unto twenty years old, then thy estimation shall be of the male twenty shekels, and of the female ten shekels. And if it be from a month old, even unto five years old, then thy estimation shall be of the male five shekels of silver, and of the female thy estimation shall be three shekels of silver. And if it be from sixty years old and above, if it be a male, then thy estimation shall be fifteen shekels, and for the female ten shekels. But if he, he be poorer than thy estimation, then he shall present himself before the priest, and the priest shall value him. According to his ability that vowed shall the priest value him. And if it and if it be a beast whereof men bring an offering unto the Lord, and they and that any man giveth of such unto the Lord shall be holy. He shall not alter it nor change it, a good for a bad or a bad for a good. And if he sh and if he shall at all change beast for beast, then it and the exchange thereof shall be holy. And if it be, and if, sorry, my eyes are bothering me today. There. And if it be any unclean beast of which they do not offer sacrifice unto the Lord, then shall he present the beast before the priest. And the priest shall value it, whether it be good or bad, and thou valuest it, who art the priest, who shall it be? But if he will at, the, at all redeem it, then he shall add a fifth part thereof unto thy estimation. And when a man shall sanctify his house to be holy unto the Lord, then the priest shall estimate it, whether it be good or bad, as the priest shall estimate it, so shall it stand. And if he that sanctify it will redeem his house, then he shall add a fifth part of the money of thy estimation unto it, <clears throat> and it shall be his. And if a man shall sanctify unto the Lord some part of the field of the procession, then thy estimation shall be according to the seed thereof. Any homer of barley seed shall be valued at fifty shekels of silver. If he sanctify his field from the year of Jubile, according to thy estimation, it shall stand. But if he sanctify his field after the Jubile, then the priest shall reckon unto him the money according to the years 
that remain even unto the year of the jubile and it shall be abated from thy estimation and if he that sanctifieth the field will be in any wise redeem it then he shall add a fifth part of the money of thy estimation unto it and it shall be assured to him and if he will not redeem the field or if it have sold the field to another man <coughs> it shall not be redeemed any more <coughs> But the field when it goeth out of the Jubile shall be holy unto the Lord, as the priest devoted the possession thereof shall be the priest. And if a man sanctify unto the Lord a field which he hath bought, which is not of the fields or of his possession, then the priest shall reckon unto him the wrath of the wrath of thy estimation, even unto the year of Jubile, and shall give thine estimation in that day as a holy thing unto the Lord. In the year of the Jubile the field shall return unto him, of whom it was brought, even to him whom the possession of the land did belong. And all thy estimation shall be according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Twenty gerahs shall be the shekel, only the firstling of the beasts, which should be the Lord's firstling. No man shall sanctify it. Whether it be ox or sheep, it is the Lord's. And if it be he that is of, and if it be of an unclean beast, then he shall redeem it according to thine estimation, and shall add a fifth part of it there are two or if it or if it be not redeemed then it shall be sold according to thy estimation notwithstanding no devoted thing that, that a man shall de devote unto the lord of all that he hath both of the men of the beast and of the field and of his possession shall be holy or redeemed every devoted thing is most holy unto the lord none devoted which shall be devoted of men shall be redeemed but surely shall be put to death and all the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, it is the Lord's, it is holy unto the Lord. And if a man will at all redeem aught of his tithes, he shall add thereto a fifth part thereof. And concerning the tithe of the herd or of the flock, even of whatsoever passes under the rod, a tenth shall be holy unto the Lord. He shall not search whether it be good or bad, neither shall it, he change it. And if he change it at all, then both it and the change thereof shall be holy. It shall not be redeemed. These are the commandments which the Lord commanded Moses of the, for the children of Israel in Mount Sinai.